This is Geographical Analysis, Geog 3020, Lecture 16, Two Sample, Matched Pairs. Here's our table of inferential tests that we're covering in the course. As you can see, so far we've learned two different kinds of tests about differences, uh, differences of means. The first test that we learned was the one sample difference of means test. And there we used a Z or T test depending on the sample size. We also did it for proportions. In the next class, we learned about two sample difference of means tests. And the first two sample difference of means tests that we covered were these independent samples. Independent samples. So in that case, we were dealing with two different samples measuring, um, measuring a characteristic in two different samples and seeing if those two samples had the same mean. But this class, we're going to be dealing with dependent samples. When observations when one sample are measured twice. So in this case, we can have uh, one observation, but measuring two variables about that observation. So if our observation is a household, we might be measuring how much money that household spends on different items, like on different modes of transportation. Or if our observation is a couple, married couples, then maybe we can compare wages for the men and compare that to wages uh, uh, of, their, of their wives. So um, we can also have the same variable being measured over time. So we can look at the commute duration of workers in a city before and after some highway expansion, and so on. In order to do these types of matched pairs tests, we're going to be using a t-test. And we're going to define a new population parameter, delta. That's this thing over here, Greek for D. Delta in mathematics is usually meant, uh, usually is used to, to mean a change in something, so, or a difference. So we have D for the difference. And delta is the mean difference of the matched pairs. So assume we have our two variables that we're measuring for each observation are X and Y. Then each of those variables is going to have a mu. A, a population mean. So this is the mean of the x variable, say husband's wages, and here's the mean of the y variable, wives' wages. And we're going to define this delta as the as the difference between these two means. Um, now sometimes we'll say the difference between the two means or the mean difference. And in fact they're the same things. If we can create a new variable, di, which equals xi minus yi. So here we're looking at a specific observation. So we can have a specific observation of uh, the husband's wages and that specific wife's wage as well. When we create the difference here, we're going to store that in a new variable called d. And delta uh, is the population parameter of the mean of this variable, di. So the mean of di, we're going to call d bar. And that's exactly what we have over here. d bar is equal to the mean x minus the mean y from the sample. OK, so when we're dealing with these d's, we're looking at the sample statistics. And when we have deltas, we're really talking about the population parameters. All right, so we can estimate the mean difference in the populations with this d bar, the mean difference in the sample. And we can see it either as the difference between the two variable means, or we can calculate these di's. So here's the di right there. And all we're going to do is take the average di. So we sum across all di's and divide by n. This should have a sum there. So it equals the sum of di over n. And we're going to use this d bar as an estimate of this lambda, uh, delta.